all amount of polymerized bioglue and will need to be changed prior to use. Regardless of how the residual air is removed from the syringe, it is important that the surgeon prime the syringe immediately prior to application. During the course of the procedure, the applicator tip may become occluded with polymerized bioglue. Therefore, it is important to have replacement tips readily available. To change an occluded applicator tip, hold the applicator tip collar, rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise, gently lift the applicator tip off of the syringe. Attach a new applicator tip and lock it in place. Again, it is important for the surgeon to prime the tip immediately prior to application. In review, to assemble the BioGlue syringe, tap the syringe until the bubbles rise to the top of the solutions. Remove the cap by rotating the collar and gently lifting the cap from the syringe. Insert the applicator tip and lock it into place. Insert the plunger into the bottom of the syringe until resistance is felt. Remove the air from syringe using one of the two methods previously outlined in this video. Change the applicator tip as necessary. This feature will highlight the packaging configuration, assembly process, application technique, and the features and benefits of the BioGlue Spreader applicator tip. Here's the outer shelf box that contains the spreader applicator tips. The spreader applicator tips are available in two different sizes, 12 and 16 millimeter widths. Please note the spreader tip indicator label on the front and side of this box that also indicates the spreader tip width. Inside the outer shelf box, you will find 10 spreader tip pouches. Again, note the spreader tip indicator label on the front of these pouches. All of the spreader tips are fully disposable and double packaged, such that the inner pouch and its contents are sterile. Three tips are packaged per sterile pouch. Here are the components of the BioGlue syringe system. The spreader applicator tip can only be used with the syringe system. The following scenes demonstrate the assembly of the syringe using the spreader applicator tips. Hold the syringe upright and tap until the air bubbles rise to the top of the solutions. To remove the cap, rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise and gently lift it from the syringe. Now you're ready to attach the spreader applicator tip to the syringe. Take care to align the triangular notch on the collar of the spreader tip with the corresponding notch on the nose of the syringe. Note the green collar of the spreader tip. This color makes it easier to align the collar notch with the nose of the syringe. The notch must be aligned with the large interface to assure proper attachment. Attach the spreader tip to the syringe and rotate the collar 90 degrees clockwise to lock the tip in place. While keeping the syringe upright, align the small and large barrels of the syringe with the corresponding syringe plunger heads and slide the plunger into the back of the syringe until resistance is felt. It is important to remove the air in the syringe prior to bioglue application. This can be accomplished using one of two methods. If using the first method, compress the plunger only until the bubbles are even with the top of the syringe body. If using the second method, compress the plunger until both solutions can be visibly seen above the opaque base of the spreader tip. The spreader tip will then become occluded with a small amount of bioglue and will need to be changed prior to use. This method will result in two remaining working tips. Regardless of how the air is removed from the syringe, it is important that the surgeon prime the syringe immediately prior to application. The spreader applicator tip allows for symmetrical, thin applications of bioglue. This makes the spreader tip useful for precise application of the product, capable of obtaining thin bioglue layers, and effective when sealing a larger area. 
The spreader tip applicator has a unique feature that adds value to the tip. It can actually be applied against gravity without tripping. In review, the new spreader applicator tip is capable of precise thin bioglue applications, is available in 12 and 16 millimeter widths, has a green colored collar, and can only be used with the bioglue syringe system. I have had excellent results with cryopreserved tissues for close to 15 years now. One of the reasons I've been using CryoLife product exclusively is because I think they're backed by very good science. I have extensive experience with CryoLife. I've used hundreds and hundreds of their graphs. CryoLife was founded in 1984 and the focus of the company at that time was to develop biological implantable products and devices. We've been successful because we listen to our customers. Dedication that CryoLife has had to research throughout its entire history. We spend a tremendous amount of time working with our surgeons to ensure the best possible outcomes for the patients that they serve. The company specializes in services and products for reconstructive cardiac surgery, reconstructive vascular surgery, and reconstructive orthopedic surgery. Synthetic graphs are, are not attractive. This has really driven our interest in looking at biological graphs. I had a great belief in biological valves and in biology in general. Every other valve that we use in the aortic position, prosthetic valves, nothing quite measures up. We're very excited about the things that we've done in the past, but many of the new developments that we've been working on in our laboratories are equally as exciting. I like what we do for people. You save children's lives. My work at CarLife has allowed me to enhance the capabilities of physicians. It's a real advantage to have something as flexible and as easy to suture as the cryovane material is. The first viable cryopreserved articular cartilage graph. The cryopreserved OA program ensures that we'll have enough time to collect all of the donor information. It will allow us to give our surgeons plenty of time with their patients to schedule their surgeries. I have the luxury of being able to schedule that surgery more on an elective time. In December 2001, the FDA approved our surgical adhesive bioglue. The use of bioglue in these operations has made it simpler and much safer. We are working on providing a protein hydrogel technology as a spinal disc nucleus replacement. Another spin-off of our protein hydrogel technology is the uh, biofoam product. Bioelastic is basically a sheet of bioglue and is being considered for use in general surgery to prevent adhesions. We test the products to see how well they work before they go into people, and more importantly, we test the products after they go into people. The rinse recovery process vigorously agitates the tissue and allows us to get a thorough analysis of what is growing on that tissue. At the end of the day, if I do not feel comfortable with that tissue being implanted in a member of my own family, I will not allow it to be released. Success at CryoLife is meeting the needs of all of our customers. We have been able to develop many firsts in the development of biological implantable devices. This has been extremely rewarding both professionally and personally and working with many talented surgeons across the world. I define success as bringing innovative new technologies and products to the marketplace. To be able to participate in the development of new technologies that save lives or uh, enhance lives. We have a history of doing that and we're committed to doing that in the future.